Hey everyone, happy holidays! I hope everyone's had a really good Christmas and is enjoying the um, Christmas period and just chilling out. It's reaching the end of 2014 now and as I did this time last year, I am going to do a top 5 albums of the year. Um, so I've got two actual physical CDs and I've got three that I've downloaded, so I'm going to show you them now. So here we go. So I don't really think I'm going to do them in any particular order because I think all of them are really good. So I'm going to start off with uh, my first uh, artist whose album came out in August of this year and that is uh, Porter Robinson with his album um, Voices. Um, so I just got it on my iPod, I don't know if you can see this. That is um, his album, can't see that very well, very well. Um, and it's it's like um, an electronic sound. It's really heavy, sort of industrial electronic. Um, and he's a really really awesome guy. I mean, he's done remixes for so many artists, and he he sort of works along alongside the likes of sort of uh, Zed and Madian and. Dead Mouse and Skrillex. I mean, that sort of that sort of his crowd. Um, one song that you might have heard is Divinity, which sort of um, sounds a little bit like this. And then carries on to sounding like that. It's just amazing. Yeah, and it just sort of carries on like that, and some songs are heavier than others, um, some songs are sort of really synthy, but I just really like it. It's just a really great album to listen to on your way to work and things like that. So, Paul Robinson is one artist, um, and his, that album, The Voices, um, is really great and you can get loads of different remixes of the singles as well which is awesome. So yeah that's Paul Robinson. Um, the next album I think I'll show you is um, an artist who is relatively new in the scene this year. You could have probably heard of her. Um, she's Her debut album came out this year to really massive acclaim and everyone really really loved it. It's one of those albums that literally everyone jumps onto because it's so good and then um, it's FKA Twigs first album LP1 this is just so astonishing and um, the girl her actual name is Talia something I've forgotten her second name but she actually comes from where I live that's where she originated um, Cheltenham she, she's a Cheltenham girl and um, if you like um, if you're into Grimes and um, churches, that sort of vibe, um, then this is a really good um, album to get into. It's sort of like ethereal alternative, it's a mix between alternative R&B and synth like house sort of music and she's a really artistic artist obviously and all of her music videos are so good, they're so creative and they're so well thought out and she's originally a dancer so she she's like a singer songwriter and dancer and she does all of her own stuff and everything that she comes out with is just so arty and beautiful and I mean even by the album cover you can tell that she's a real creative per person, can't you? I mean it's sort of gives off like applause makeup vibes. It's so good and some of her, um, her singles include I think two weeks. The beginning of that song is it gives me the chills, it really does. So um, yeah she's a really amazing artist and I won't just jump on the bandwagon just for the sake of everyone saying that she's amazing but I actually do really do think that she's really great and she's really achieved quite a lot this year with her music so that's FKA Twigs. Um, the 
third one in the list, the third album, is one that I've really grown to love quite a lot over the past two years or so. Um, his first EP um, collaboration came out this year in September, um, and that is Breed Love and Chifu, um, the Magic Mondays EP. Now I forgot to say at the beginning, but I'm going to include um, EPs in this list because I think they're too good not to include. So um, I'm just going to bring up um, Breed Love's album now. Um, and he actually, you probably know this already, but if you didn't go to the art rave, he was one of the opening acts, the Gaga in that uh, art rave. Um, so this is Breed Love's EP with Chifu. Chifu is also a DJ from New York City and they have done a collab album together. Um, and it's only like four or five songs, um, it's four songs. And um, they're just really upbeat, catchy, sort of pop, rock, playful tunes that really make you really happy. There's even a song on the album called Happy and it's one of my favourites and he's such a great guy. I've actually met him a couple of times. He looks like a hippie and it's just amazing. He just fills me with so much joy and I just love him. He's he's such a great dude and his music just is, is inspiring and it, it doesn't even need to be taken seriously. You can just listen to it and just get really into the vibe and just you know, do whatever you have to do and it just makes you feel good. So if you want to go get it, it's Breed Love and Chifu, the Magic Mondays EP and that's available on iTunes as is everything on my list. So moving on, seamlessly, um, I'm gonna also say that, um, okay, so this is kind of um, not, this is kind of expected, but I can't not include it. It is um, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, the jazz collaboration Cheek to Cheek. Now, I'm not completely into jazz. I don't listen to it all the time. I'm not really into it. But sometimes when I'm in the mood, when I feel like listening to a jazz track, if I feel like listening to Cole Porter or Nat King Cole, if I want to listen to Ella Fitzgerald, I will do so in the bar. I'll do so when I'm in the house by myself, um, when I'm feeling like I, I want to get inspired in a jazz sort of way, I want to listen to some jazz and Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga are no exception. And this album came out in the summer, end of September, sorry what, no, um, end of August into September. That's when the singles were coming out anyway, and the album came out in September. So this is just um, literally, it's an album of covers from the American Songbook, like a collection of jazz standards. I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos a long time ago, but I think jazz is such a timeless genre of music and it's always relevant. The lyrics always relate to today and any period of time. You can listen to jazz music and just be just taken back to a simpler time and and still relate to it to the music and this collaboration i think to people that weren't expecting it it was like a pleasant smack in the face it made people sort of check themselves and be like oh wait gaga can actually sing and she can do these switchovers and she's actually a really good performer which she is, and I think that it should be noted that she she can switch herself to so many different styles of music and still be amazingly flawless at it. Which Tony Bennett, one of the legends in the entire music industry, has recognised. So I think that should be noted as well. So that is Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga Cheek to Cheek, and that is going to be touring the world next year in the summertime so if you want to go get a ticket go and grab one so um the last one um on my list is um an album that came out earlier this year i can't remember the exact date i think it was may at some point um if any of you have heard of an artist called robin it's 
excuse me. Um, so it's stuff like dancing on my own and heartbeat, things like that. Um, she uses like an electronic house um, singer, solo singer, who has done a collaboration with um, a producer, DJ, um, called Roiksop. And this is such an awesome album. Oh, it's so good. It's so amazing. Um, the Do It Again EP. There's, I mean, there's there's five songs on this album, and all of them are fantastic. They're so good. The one that you've probably heard is Do It Again, which sounds something like this. Totally awesome. Totally amazing. They say it hurts so good. I don't want to stop. Yeah. Um. So that's just awesome. I mean, it was it was really well received, and I think do it again. I I couldn't stop hearing it on the radio. It was so good and. I just decided to go straight ahead and download it because so I think if you haven't checked it out already, um, the Do It Again EP by Royksop and Robin was a really great release this year, and you should all check it out. And the album design as well, the EP design was amazing. I'll just show that to you quickly. Um, there, you probably might recognise that, but. It's just amazing. I mean, both both artists are so credible, and they're so artistic. And I just love artists that they do their own stuff. They think about, they think so carefully about what they're doing with their music, what they want, where they want to take it, what they want it to look like, what the image will look like to people that want to buy it, and and what what sort of style they initially want to create. And they do it all with themselves. I mean, they, they hardly involve anybody else, they don't want to use other people to help them manufacture commercially, that sort of thing. And it's just brilliant artists that do that because it's just so organic when that, when that happens and it's, it's, it's not for financial gain, it's just all from the music perspective and that's so amazing because there aren't a whole lot of artists like that. I mean, the music industry at the moment I think needs to take some time and reassess its values because it needs to be sorted out into people who want to make music for themselves from an organic perspective and not just get someone who will write a song for them and then put it in their music processor and wait for it to get a big release from a producer that lives somewhere else that you've never spoken to before and get some promo people on it from a label that make you do things you don't want to do. I don't think that's a really healthy way to approach the industry at all. If, if, if that's what is happening right now I don't really think that it's great, it's not a good situation. So. It's really good that there are artists out there like that who just want to do their own thing and don't want to get controlled by the machine. So yeah, um, I'll stop babbling now because I think that's another story for another time. So that has been my top five albums of 2014. Um, if you want to do one as well, if you're watching and you want to do one, please do. I want to see what your favourite albums have been. Um, people who I want to see do this album as well. Sean I know will do one because I, he's told me that he's going to so I can't wait to see his. Nick and Nathan, the usual people. Um, also Coco Lee on YouTube, I want to see him do one. Anyone watching who feels like they um, want to do a top five album as well, that would be awesome. So yeah, um, I will see you guys probably in the new year, so have a great new year, get as drunk as you possibly can and wake up with a massive hangover and then jump into the new year with 
great amounts of enthusiasm, I hope. <laughs> so I'll see you all next year. Have a great one, guys. Bye.